So, ngayon class, natapos na tayo sa method ng BMD. We will now proceed to the other method, where, which is called DPD, or the Double Parallel Distance. So, kung kanina yung DMD, halos yung may silbe is departure, kabalik na naman sa ating DPD method, which is yung may silbe is latitude. To solve for the DPD value, gagamitin natin yung mga values ng latitudes natin. So, same lang sila ng rule ng DP, DMD. So, rule number one. The DPD of the first line is equal to its corresponding latitude. So, ano yung corresponding latitude ng 1 to 2? Etong 77.674. Rule number 2. The DPD of the next line, etong susunod na line, which is 2 to 3, is equal to the DPD of the first line. So, yung DPD ng first line natin is 77.674 plus the departure nung sinundan niyang linya 77.674 plus yung latitude nung linya mismo. So, minus 289.999 is equals to Negative 134.651. So, rule number 1. The DPD of the first line, the DPD of the next line, is equal to the DMD. DPD the DPD of the first of the next line is equal to the DPD of the first line. Ko copy lang natin yung negative 134.651. Plus, yung latitude niya, latitude nung 2 to 3, which is negative 289.999, plus yung latitude nung course mismo, negative 44.103, is equals to negative 468.753. So, i-copy lang natin to, yung negative 468. 0.753 plus yung departure ay latitude pala latitude ng 3 to 4 negative 44.103 plus yung latitude ng course mismo plus 256.428 is equals to negative 256.428 Ngayon, para naman natin malalaman kung tama ba yung mga pinaggagawa-gawa natin. So, same as DMD yung correction natin. Rule number 3. The DPD of the last line, which is our last line is 4 to 1, is equal to its latitude with opposite sign. So, yung DPD natin dito is negative 256.428. Where yung latitude natin dito is positive 256.428. So, meaning to say, since opposite sila, tama yung DPD procedures natin. So, now let's move on for double area. So, sa DPD may silbe si latitude lagi. Ngayon, it's the right time para gamitin natin si departure. So, double area, let's say from 1 to 2 is equals to DPD of 1 to 2 multiply natin yung departure from 1 to 2. Kung 4 to 1 naman yung hinahanap mo, palitan mo lang yung mga subscript natin. So, let's solve for the double area. 77.674 multiply natin sa departure. Bukukuha is negative 95 5.240 So, etong negative 134.651 I-multiply natin sa departure Makukuha is 10,340.524 So, para makuha naman yung 
DA or double area ng 3 to 4, multiply natin yung DPD, tsaka yung departure. Answer is 20, negative 20,493.412. Then, eto, yung DPD niya, multiply natin sa departure, which is equal siya sa negative 39,927.635. Ngayon, isa sa mention lang natin yan, Summation of DA, absolute value, is equal siya sa negative 59,605.764. So, naka-absolute value. So, para makuha natin yung area, same lang doon sa DMD, 1 half is equal to the absolute value of the double meridian, the summation of the double meridian. So, 1 half times... 59,605.764 So yung makukuha nating area is 29,802.88 square meter So kung anuhin natin, bibigyan natin ng summary Mas maganda pa rin yung area using triangle Kasi using DMD or DPD, procedural siya so, I advise siguro gamitin ninyo yung triangles. So, that's all. I hope marami kayo natutunan for our discussion for today.